Today we're going to be looking at my gaming rig. Everyone's been asking for videos of this thing for a while now, so I thought I'd just f film a few things I'm going to do before it's final. As you know, it's got um, two 9800GX2s in quite a SLI. It's got 4 gig of um, DDR3. Corsair Dominator modules, uh, QX9650. Here I have the power inverters, which will uh, convert the 12 volt power into the required power for the cold cathodes. Three of those. You can either run those next to each other or in separate places. I've run the Molex extension now running to the back. I've got the three cold cathode switches here, so we can turn them off and on in pairs. I thought, I, because this has got so many expansion slots, I thought I might as well use them. I think it's got 10 of them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 expansion slots. So the extra three down the bottom was perfect. Now, the trick is, the trick is to run everything to the back. So mount all your stuff, mount your, you know, plug in your um, 8 pin and 6 pin and, you know, all your hard drive wiring and everything, plug it all in and just push it all to the back. Now I'm going to show you the other side of this computer, it's going to look pretty scary. But the main thing is making the front look good, you're going to worry about the back later. These are the cold cathode um, extensions. We can extend them by how much? I think about 30 centimeters, which is plenty. I always buy extra, I mean they're not, only a couple of bucks each so it's not worth getting the headache of needing more later. And now is placed all the cold cathodes in the desired position. I've got two there. I've got one here. There will be one more here. And I've got two at the front, which will be on either side of the, will be on both sides of the radiator. Now this is uh, the stage that I hate. It's draining the system, grabbing the reservoir, turning it upside down emptying it all into a bowl and then disconnecting one of the pipes, blowing through it until it's completely drained. We don't want a single drop on any electrical component. So that's been drained. Unscrew the radiator at the front. This is the old 360 millimeter red. We're going to disconnect that and that's going to be replaced with the PA120.3 red. Alright, here we have the in and the out. Unplug the radiator. This is it, it's the 360mm. Now we're going to compare it to the new one. Let's have a look at this thing. One handed job. Oh my god, that's all I can say. Check this out. It's much bigger. And this is going to be fun putting this thing in. Surprisingly light though, probably the same in weight. Check that out. It's like you fit three of these on top of each other. Um, the fins are eat more uh, spaced out to allow lower RPM fans to cool it as compared to this one. Well, that, that should be fun. Let's give an idea where that, compare that to the case. Look at that. That should look pretty impressive when that's in. Got the two barbs here, I'm just going to put this stuff on, because it's not plastic, it's metal, so it'll need to be sealed properly. Just a few layers, on like that. I'm screwing on the last one there. I've got the barbs on, I've got the hoses on, I've got the Swiftec Easy Clips on. Just to give you a shot in proportion to the case, it's a very big radiator, so anyone considering this needs a lot of room. Finally I've got the thermotrill mounted, and that's probably one of the tightest fits you'll ever get. Pretty impressive. You really have to see this uh, radiator in, in uh, real life to 
appreciate how big it is and uh, the Lion Lee armor suit has fitted has just fit that in the front now as for mounting the um, the swift work um, reservoir just drill two holes here on the edge you can pass um, you know any sort of long nut and bolt combination through there so that will keep it. it took about three liters of water to fill that that gigantic thing at the front it's giving it a funny effect because it's full of bubbles at the moment it's going to be clear by the time I finish then I can decide on what sort of dye I'm going to put in foaming up a bit at the top I'm going to have to top that up in about five minutes I've um, mounted this with double sided adhesive on the um, motherboard tray which is removable which I've also covered in um, matte black vinyl instead of paint because it would be a bit more scratch resistant overall it looks much better with a bit of black inside and you can see here um, with all the USB ports and audio and everything just they're going to sit right under the graphics card you can see here without even touching anything the graphics card 6 pin and 8 pin just sitting there ready to be plugged in the graphics card installed now with the black vinyl backing there sure that's as neat as I can probably do it it's pretty good considering how much stuff there is in here the 2008 Maxi Shine system which is build number two hopefully every year I'll be building the most extreme computer you can buy on the market okay, this is the computer now I've nearly finished just a few more mods with the wiring on the hard drives on the side window just going to get a clear glass window Perspex gives off a bit of a tint no, I don't really like it that's the front of the Lion Lee PC80 just have a look what I've done two um, 24 centimeter cold cathodes one on each side of the radiator that's the Thermo Chill PA 120.3 Okay, I'm just receiving my Thermachill fan grill cover or radiator grill cover. It's putting on the last screw. I think this adds a beautiful touch to this system. Just giving it a touch of elegance. I think you guys would agree that looks awesome. That's probably 98% complete. The ultimate goal here is to build the ultimate computer of 2008, which I think it's pretty close to it. You can check out more detailed pics online.